So, she summarized, picking through his story and wondering distractedly if she should tell him hers. Your brother is a war criminal, your mother an addict, and there's a man watching the house. It's like something by Dumas. And so we have Vienna after the war, a city of broken buildings and broken people. Those returning to civilian life are shattered by the crimes of war, both the ones endured and the ones committed. She is the cold and beautiful Anna Bear, lipstick applied, returning to her husband, tortured prisoner of war, Anton Bear. He is Robert Seidel, young innocent, returning as well to the mystery of who in his family is guilty and who will die. And the crooked maid, she of bent spine and pretty face, connects them all, the symbol of innocence lost. Who then is not touched by the inhumanity of war? At night, he dreamt of screaming crows. He had not known his dreams would summon a life murder. I found The Crooked Maid to be a dark uh, and thrilling tale with sparks of wit and searing descriptions of our delicate humanity. The narrative is both lurking and propulsive, exciting and full of mysterious smoke and weight. But let its clever web of a story manages to touch on the philosophical and the political and contains a sort of elegant and even playful turns of phrase that people in my profession are liable to steal for lyrics and album titles. So, Thanks in advance, Dan, and uh, thanks for this excellent work. Ladies and gentlemen, please uh, help me join Dan Valletta to the stage. Congratulations, Dan. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Uh, you okay? I'm okay. Good. This, uh, nicely done, Chad. This, this, um, this book is dedicated to your father. He passed away during the writing of The Crooked Maid. What, what would he have made of all this? He would have looked very dapper tonight, I think. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was a fine man for a tuxedo. He's, uh, he was from Prague. He, you know, he knew how to rock a ballroom, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I wish he was here. The jacket you're wearing tonight? It's, uh, I was planning to wear my dad's uh, tuxedo jacket, but you know what? The, uh, they don't make pants like they used to, and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't asking who are you wearing, by the way. I was, <laughs> I was, I thought, I thought I heard, I'd heard that you were yeah, going to wear no, your father's I was, jacket. I was, uh, turns out that uh, my father in the mid-1970s was a lot thinner than I am today. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm wearing his ring, which, uh, I don't know where he picked this up. Somewhere in BC, I think, uh, traveling in Canada. Um, it's one of the, the last things he gave me, so. He's here, I think. Congratulations, Alicia. Dan Violetta and Shad.